Hello, 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 and welcome to Hankmay Gaming Zero with another video about Warframe. Today's video is very, very, very special. Do you know why? Because I today bring for you the fourth build of Guandao, the mighty Polarum. Guys, this weapon, I never, 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 like, have enough with this weapon. I can twist it and flip it and this, and it always do amazing uh, damage. So, let me present to you the weapon. This weapon is uh, Neza. I mean, it's an upgrade of the normal Guandao. Lucky guys who had uh, very good ravens for the normal Guandao. Then it got upgraded to uh, Guandao Prime. A lot made a lot of money uh, from that. Okay, this weapon does a primary slash uh, damage. We love slash. Very good. So, this uh, and something else. The advantages of this weapon is it has very high crit chance. So, red crits all day long, baby. High damage, high attack range, and high crit multiplier. Uh, these advantages for this weapon, the uh, below average statue chance and very low disposition. So, this weapon doesn't go very well in status, but it go very well in crit and damage. Means... What? Means we're gonna do the faction build. Yes, many of you have been waiting for this. And Obama, if you're watching, Obama is a guy that follows the channel. If you're watching this video, here you go, my friend. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Hank, smite, Hank, faction mods, Hank. Additive multiplier. So, so we understand this build is a uh, Bural Archon. So what I did, I mixed the Archon and I mixed this, uh, the uh, faction modes and I put them together and I create for you for now, for now until the next build, the best Guandao build I come up with so far and it's very, very, very unique. So let me show you guys. So we're gonna fight. What we're gonna fight? We're gonna fight level 170 corrupted heavy gunners. Let's go. And in case you know, we have a corrupted uh, smite on. Look at this. And he's dead. Collect. Let's go, baby. Red crits already procced. Boom, 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 And they're dead. Now, so you understand before I go further. There is some Thanos. They like to say, here you go, the build. Goodbye. End of the video. No, that will not happen. I need to speak to you. I need to make you understand what's going on. The, uh, I'm here to give you content and entertainment. If you don't like, go forward in the video, check the build, and goodbye. Okay? So, this is for the legendary Thanos. Let's go. One more time. Enjoy the moment with Hank. Let's go. Here we go. Kaboom, boom, pa, pa, pa. Let's go. Look look at the look at the art of the red crits. Look at that. Look at that. So beautiful. Okay, so now where we're gonna test the weapon. Of course, I show you the weapon. I, I speak to you about the weapon, I show you the weapon in action in training, and now I'm gonna take you to test the weapon in the real deal. Then I show you uh, the build. Okay, leave and we're gonna go to the relay. So from there we go to the steel path. In case you are a new player. And you don't know what Steel Path is. Steel Path it is, is the second version of uh, our uh, Star Shard. Okay. So, after you finish your normal Star Shard, all the nodes, you're going to unlock the Steel Path. If it, it's not unlocked yet for you, after you finish all the nodes, uh, go to Tesh and speak with them. So, enemy level plus 100, enemy health and shield and armor 250%. In return of that boost of the enemies, you're going to get plus 100% resource drop chance and mod drop chance. Where we're going to go? We're going to go to the most badass enemies on the uh star shard is the end game mobs for now and the warframe doesn't really have an end game but i call them end game because they're the strongest mobs out there in uh warframe so we're gonna go uh invites only so we don't bother other tenors uh, and let's go as you can see i'm bringing nidus in this uh test for one reason so i don't boost the weapon in any way no multipliers no damage boost no attack speed, nothing. Okay, no helmet, nothing, baby. Just the weapon itself. And one more thing, guys. I had a very good raven for this weapon, but I didn't use it. You know why? To show you how powerful the build without a raven. So, the Thanos that doesn't have money to buy ravens. Uh, there you go. Compete with the big boys. Let's go. And by compete, I mean when you press tab. We all do. Who is the highest DPS? Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, first thing we do is uh, we're gonna collect some and, and create get some uh, stacks. 
Okay, there we go. Time for show. Pa 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 pa. Look at this. When you are attacking them, the feel that so from how powerful the weapon is, they die so fast that at certain point you feel you're hitting the air. Okay, because there is the sound of tuf, 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 you know, tuf, tuf, you know, at certain point they're dying so fast. It's like you're hitting the air. Look at the slash, the viral. Wait, what? I know some of you would say viral. Why he's not using the uh, why he's not using only Panzer Volpafeiler, guys? No, I want. To maximize the damage for my Guandiao for one reason. As you all know, the faction mods, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong 99%. The faction mods, they are uh, damage multipliers to your current damage. They don't give you damage. For example, if you have 1000 damage, they don't give you 2000 damage. Okay? They are milt like they are not additive. They are multipliers. So the current damage you have, they gonna multiply it. So the higher damage the weapon have, the more damage the faction mods will add. Uh, will multiply in other meaning. Okay. So if you have a low damage weapon, because you build it full of status. And you're saying, oh, wait, why the faction mode doesn't work well? There you go. That's your answer. Okay. Many of the tenors knows very well that uh, the faction mode is the end game. And it's a bit tricky to understand it because there is a big mathematics behind uh, the faction modes. And there is another tenors that likes them. But they don't understand them. And there is another tenors that likes the, the faction modes. But they're lazy. What I mean lazy is they're lazy to change every time they go somewhere. Because you, you know, let, let's be honest guys. During your gameplay in Warframe, you will always fight different mobs. Sometimes you're going to go farm something. You're going to go fight infested. You're going to go farm something else. You're going to fight corrupted. You're going to fight the... Uh, the green ear, you're gonna fight the corpus. You don't know. And the fact that you need every single time to check. Okay? Like, and switch the modes. The faction modes. Okay, I'm going to infested. Boom. Changing corrupted to infested and so on. There is Daisy Thanos doesn't like that. That's why, guys, I told you. Everyone have things they like in this game. That's why I promise you, as a goal for the channel, I will make every single Built for every single weapon in this game. If I live that long, of course. Okay? So, I mean, you don't want to subscribe to someone that doesn't have a goal, right? So, yeah, that's my goal. And, of course, the fashion frame. We're going to reach all the fashion frames. A big goal is you're going to do all the Tenu gens and so on. You know, it's very expensive to get all the Tenu gens all at once. But, slowly, <clears throat> we're going to reach that point. Okay? As you can see, the weapon is doing mwah, so good. I was gonna go, uh, I was thinking when I was fixing this build for you guys, I was saying, if I go status, that's not gonna be good. I'm gonna give you directly the god mode, guys. This is it. Okay? This is the best build for Guandiu so far, without any synergy of uh, Warframe. Okay? No stealth multipliers, no helmets multipliers no damage multipliers nothing just the weapon without a ribbon and there you go you're gonna you, you can chill with the big boys now there you go look at that i mean the veterans of warframe they already know from the first minute i hit any of these mobs they know already how powerful this weapon is i survived with this weapon guys Two hours and 30 minutes. And I had no issue at all. 
so i want you to know that guys and one more thing if you don't know if you're new to the channel i don't release any video or any build before testing it at least one hour 30 minutes in a uh, steel path that's something you need to know okay there we go hello 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 where is he okay he's moving a lot hello that's one come on stop moving there you go and he's dead i have not been defeated yeah they never give up guys you know them look at that look at that so what is left for us uh to do there is what i did the toxin okay i did for you the toxin guys i did for you the uh the viral i did for you the uh corrosive okay now there is a few more builds for this weapon there is the gas build there is the gas build there is the uh pure slash build there is the heavy attack build there is the funny slam build there is like few like let's say four or five more builds i can twist for this weapon okay and you're ready guys as you can see we're ready okay there is nothing we need to stay for here more so it is time guys so uh, don't waste your time even more i don't think this is a waste of time but sometimes would say ah come on come on show us the build man enough from this we're gonna play it by ourselves so all right let's go i need uh, you cannot satisfy everyone you know uh, guys you already know this by now it's 2022 you cannot make everyone happy okay so let's go out haha <laughs> you want to trick me you see those traps i hate them always look left and right for one uh, sculpture hmm, challenge complete complete the mission 1000 thank you rebecca for vol 2 uh, night uh, wave ah, warframe d running out of ideas i told you hire me i'm gonna work for you guys no problem i'm gonna give you a lot of ideas i have tons or just listen to any Tano. They're gonna give you a lot of ideas. Anyway, that's not this video, not about that. So, let's start things first. Let's go. Arsenal. There we go. So, we're using the Panzer uh, Volpa Fila for extra uh, viral. As you know, you can go to uh, stacks of uh, viral. There you go. The, uh, larva for viral. Viral. And your uh, health. The rest is, you know, enemies injured. And, uh, you know, this is the build. I already explained it in a Panzer Volpa Fila build. You can find it on the channel. Moving next. Nidus uh, Prime. Why? I'm showing you the steel charge melee weapon damage increase uh, to 60% melee uh, damage. If you want, you can run corrosive projection. That is uh, totally up to you. Arcane Strike for attack speed. Arcane Fury for melee damage. That's the two things about uh, Nidus. There is no helmet on him. There is nothing. Uh, we're using a Naromon for one reason and one reason only the uh, hold on the power spike melee combo counter now decays while out of combat by five every few seconds instead of depleting completely that's why we're using uh, so we move to area, uh, area to area without losing our combo okay uh, we I, mean, I use the czar and epitaph but I didn't use them at all they're just there in my loadout you don't need them uh guandiu there you go my friend this is the viral corrosive and toxin and this is the archon boreal uh faction uh, mode chimering uh blight stand fast spinning attack and staggering uh strikes very very nice guys staggering is very nice because it knocks enemies if you know how to do the uh combo uh, for it there you go so uh, a blood rush 40 percent critical chance stacks with combo multiplier this is um additive to your current critical chance don't don't misunderstand this one this is blood rush will add percent to your current if you have 100 percent it's going to give you percent based on your 100 percent it's not going to be like you have 100 percent it's going to give you 500 percent you understand the idea vicious frost 60 percent cold plus 60 percent uh, state of chance 
Primed Pressure Point for melee damage, Primed Smite Corrupted for 55% damage to Corrupted, Sacrificial Steel for critical chance, double for heavy attacks, that's for another build, Primed Fever Strike for 150% for Toxin, Organ Shatter, of course, for Shatter, 90% uh, critical damage, uh, Boral Contempt, which is the VIP mode in our uh, build, 90% melee damage, 60% damage from statue effect, reduces damage by 20% when airborne. Pull arms. There you go, guys. This is the best build I come up with for the Guandiu without, without a Raven. Let me show you guys what Raven I have. I have the Guandiu Crony Physicron, melee damage, attack speed, critical chance, minus statue duration. Statue minus statue duration, you'd say, oh my god, minus statue duration, that's not good, and so on. I understand you, but you will kill them faster than the statue duration will run out. I promise you that. Look at this. Look, look at the boost. Look at the boost. Look at this. It's just crazy. Okay? And we're not running any attack speed. Another build. Okay? So, it's crazy. Warframe is a lot of builds and so on. So, guys, we're running viral. Uh, it's gonna be similar build, but with uh, corrosive in the future. Uh, but before that, we need to reach gas. When we run out of content, we're gonna do that. But we're gonna do gas. We're gonna do heavy attack, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. I want to be fair between the weapons. I don't want to release one weapon. Ah, oh, ta, 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 ta. No, no, no. Every weapon have to take its own moment. Okay. Last year I released for you the viral corrosive and toxin. This time is the Archon Borel as the new war give us the new uh, mods and. I have this small message for the boys that's saying uh, uh, this guy talks so much doesn't show us build. Please, come on, guys. We enjoy. We have a. We, yeah, but come on, you got the build already. I mean, 10 minutes of every time is not gonna hurt. Anyway, so guys, we have uh, a Discord link on the description. Feel free to join us on, in our uh, Discord. If it was big, of course, you're gonna join, but it's because it's a small uh, one. We have like 150 members or so on. That's one thing. The second thing, if you want to help the channel, if you like the content, if you want to see more and. Hit that subscribe button and the alert so you get notification when uh, a new video comes up. Hit that like if you like the video, dislike if you don't like the video. That's totally up to you, your choice. Let me know in the comments below what is the next weapon you'd like to see or fashion frame you'd like to see or what you think about this uh, build. If you like it, if not, if you're gonna try it or not. If you try it already and come back and tell me how it worked for you. What's left for me is to say, guys, love you. Thank you so much for your amazing support. I love every single time of you. And guys... Stay safe and play Warframe. Warframe is home. We play a bit less dark, but Warframe is always uh, home. We cannot wait for the Angelus of Zariman in 27. And guys, stay safe and bye-bye.